What is up guys? Welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter. Great to have you here. Today we have one of our last kiln unloadings uh, for the year. We'll probably have a couple more just because we have some custom orders, but this one is special because it's all going online for sale in our last restock on December 11th. So Sunday, December 11th, we'll have pretty much everything that's for sale or everything that's in this kiln will be for sale. All right, you guys ready for this? So I wanna show you on the top are these Insanity mugs. And so this is, they've been glaze fired, well they bisque fired and then they've already been glaze fired once. And now this is the second glaze fire that we do upside down. And they turn out awesome. So they, see that little stilt in there? Those get balanced upside down. So you glaze the whole thing. Anyway, they have been probably the most popular thing that I've sold like this year. Whenever I have any for sale, they seem to sell quickly. So there'll be a few of these on the shop. So then you just pull that off, pull that right off of there. And what I love the most is like these little crystals that start forming in like this like mountainous shape. It's just really unique. So love those. And then we have a bunch of ornaments. So every year at the coffee shop, uh, that I own Mocha Monkey, we always have a bunch of ornaments for sale. And those, I love to put the recycled glass in there, do some tree designs. Simple and easy to make. Sell them for like 10 bucks. All right, here's more, I'll show you more insanity. So usually that insanity shape I do, I usually do like the out and then in and then out. But I did one like this, that turned out really nicely. Sweet. Everyone is a little unique. So a lot of the stuff that I put up for sale online, I'll do like sets of stuff. So there'll be four or five pieces in stock, but each one of these gets its own individual listing because they are really unique. That one is sweet. See like all that little crystal detail in there? Love that. It's like they seem to all have like a bunch of crystals on one side and then the other side doesn't, which is kind of interesting. Okay, so this is the last test that I have for a company that wants, so this is a company that wants these mugs by December 15th. So it's December 7th right now. So this would be a, this is gonna be a quick turnaround, but I'm planning on getting them done. Might be a terrible idea, but this was their, their first one that they needed approval for. So other stuff in here, this glaze, has probably been one of the more popular I've had all season. I kind of just like pick and chose my favorite glazes and the glazes that have sold the best for this restock. This was a just a total tester. I just loaded a bunch of crystals in this one glaze shipwreck on top. Yeesh, didn't turn out that good, but it's kind of interesting. Uh, and then here is another tester of this same. That is so weird. How did that happen? Pottery is weird sometimes. Here. Love this glaze. This is a newer glaze I've been doing this year. Shipwreck and Alabaster from Mako, and then Norse Blue on the bottom. Turn this out really sweet. Nice, holy cow. That glaze is just, look how close that is to the bottom that all the drippiness gets. That's pretty good, pretty good. Here we go, this glaze, oh. I wish you could feel this glaze. This, it just feels like almost velvety. Really love that glaze. Copper ore over sandstone. Look at that. This might be the, look at the drip. That's my favorite. If you've watched this channel before, you know that. When it drips all the way down to the bottom, but doesn't drip off. And then sometimes you get a situation where it does drip off like that. But thank goodness for my Advancer kiln shelves doesn't ruin the pot or the shelf. All right, here's a new design. I just, everything got a little thicker. I just did a glaze kiln like two days ago and everything was not quite so down to the bottom, but that's really a sweet, maybe that shape, a little different for me. I pulled one of these out of the kiln when my wife was in here, this exact mug, and she thought it was like the greatest mug I'd ever made. So I decided to do more. My wife's pretty hard to please when it comes to my pottery. Yes, haven't done this one in a while. The Northern Lights with red. This is a sweet glaze. Look at that. So much going on. That is really beautiful. Holy cow. Whoa, 
might be the best kiln of the year so far. This one I just did like little dots of glaze and so then you get the the lines in there. Nice. Those turned out really nice. Look at that. That's cool. Wow. Totally red on the inside. That looks really just really nice. What a Christmassy mug, huh? There's a few more of those. These also just have a really cool like feeling to them. Bright red gloss over winter wood. Beautiful. Wow. All right, and then some of my faves. I think I'm gonna call this like dragon skin or something. Dragon's scales, I don't know. That's one of my favorite. Carved, each one is individually carved. And then I glaze it and then I just like knock a little of the top glaze off so it reveals all that texture. Love that. These are a little bit smaller than the ones that were in my last restock. That's one of my faves. One of my faves. Beautiful. Look at that. Look how cool that is. So cool. Love it. All right. Now we got the bottom shelf. Very close. So, roar green over red. Red on the inside. Turned out pretty nice. Oop. Got a little tiny drip there, but that's all right. It's really nice still. That aurora green is a little thick. Ooh. Oh, so cool. Holy cow. Love that. What? What? Those are awesome. So there's another one like that. So there's two Northern Lights with red. And then here is the, this is kind of the new way that I've been doing Northern Lights is instead of just like layering three on the top and letting it drip down, I like put, I spray. I spray the middle layer of the third glaze on there. Sweet, there's three of those. All the glazes are at a really, really good consistency. Boom, sweet. All right, and then we got just a few more, a few more of this glaze in that more of a spirally. It's turned out really well. The last one, ooh! So this is a roar green over sandstone. And when the consistency is perfect, what I love is when you get the green and then this like purple color down here. So I noticed I did some vases and they turned out with that purple. So I knew I should do some mugs like that. There, that's like a really good purple in there. Green, purple, and then sandstone on the bottom. Love it. That is awesome. So now I just gotta take pictures of this, clean it up, grind the bottoms, make sure they're all smooth, get them up for sale on Sunday. So if you guys need any last minute Christmas presents, December 11th. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I'll get one or two more videos done before the end of the year. But if not, have a merry, merry Christmas, and we'll see you guys in the next video.